So, welcome back to another video. John Sinclair TV back again. Tonight, I'm going to talk about Hugo Ekateki. Now, before I talk about him, right, because there's bad news, according to reports in France and to his manager as well. And if you like the video, then please give it a like, hit the subscribe button as well. And also, if you'd like to super thanks, just click on the super thank button as well and just give what you can. And if you'd like to become a member, then click on the join button as well. Now, according to multiple reports today, that Huga Ekateki will be trying for the sky for six months, yeah? First of all, he turned us down because there's too short notice. And now today, he told his manager, Oscar Garcia, and said he wants to stay. He wants to stay with Rams, unless two elite clubs come with something, which is Real Madrid and Barcelona. And this is what he told his manager. He plays for um, Stan Rams, by the way. And he said that Ekiteki is eager to remain in the squad for the next season, despite having offers from much bigger clubs. We are one of them. We are the only concrete club that made it um, bid for him. And Oscar Garcia came out and he said that he told me, this is Hugo, by the way, he wanted to steer, but there's a big, big but there, people. If there's a Real Madrid of Barcelona came calling or came knocking, he will consider the roof. He also added, I found Hugo calm. I spoke to him. We have no problem steering at the club and neither will I. Now, what can I say about this, people? I mean, Hugo Kateki wanted to come to Newcastle a couple of weeks ago, as recent as last week, but his agent has been messing them about, yeah? To hold him back to the dream move. If you call it a dream move to Newcastle United, yeah? Everything's ready to go. Fees been agreed, personal terms been agreed, and it's ready to come. Now, his agent wanted 13 million quid, and I've said this before. Newcastle walked away from the deal because he's asking for a stupid amount of money. This is um, Ekateki's agents, by the way. And now it's been heard since then. Now, today, like I said, multiple reports come out and said that he's technically turned down Newcastle and he wants to stay with his club, Rim. Yeah? Now, maybe we're not big enough club for him. Maybe he thinks he's too big for his boots. Who knows? But at the end of the day, Newcastle United are a massive club, yeah? We've got a project, yeah? We've got Eddie Howell's manager, we've got some good players there, like Bruno G, Kieran Trippier, and now Sven Botman, and of course, Joel Linton, yeah? Now, if you don't want to come to Newcastle United, okay, cool, we'll take that, yeah? So, he needs to move on. Newcastle United, as a club, we need to move on as well. We need to move on to other targets, yeah? So, we wasted all that time chasing this guy, yeah, and it is an absolute joke. Yeah, now I said before, don't blame Hugo for this, blame his agent. Yeah, and I'm still not going to blame him as well because he's got a decision to make. The guy's only 20 years old, he might be thinking, Oh, hang on a minute, it's too early for my career. I want to stay in France and develop more for Rim. Yeah, I can understand this, but at the end of the day, right, what I don't agree with when he comes out and said that if the two big clubs in Spain want him, it's a different kettle of fish. So that's very disrespectful to Newcastle United, yeah? Because like I said, we're a project club and we're doing bigger things now. We are aiming to aim high. But who at do you want to join our project? He didn't want to know, basically. Do you know what I mean? But that's the decision. We're going to have to accept that, yeah? And that's all we can do. So we just move on to other targets, yeah? Someone like Musa Diaby, yeah? Try and get him. I would love him to come to Newcastle United. Yeah. And if we can get him on the right hand side of midfield, what a team we have. But we definitely need another strike on top as well. If we can get that in, that would be fantastic. So, guys, tell us what you think. Do you think Newcastle are right to just walk away from Hugo Ekiteke? Do you think he's right to turn us down? Do you also think as well it's too early to come to Newcastle United? So, leave me your thoughts in the comment section, people, yeah, and tell us what you think. Please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and also hit the thanks as well, if you think I'm doing a good job. And also, please become a member. It's 99p. You click on that, that will be fantastic. All I can say to you, people, without you guys, 
then I would not have done this podcast. I've got just over 2,800 people on the podcast. I'm enjoying life. I want to get the target to 3,000. If I can get 3K by the end of the month, I'll be over the flipping moon people. So tell us what you think. I hope you have a fantastic evening. Watch what you're doing, guys. See you later. See you now. Ta-ra.